Tomorrow, big day. Utah and USC will face off on the gridiron for the 21st time. And it's not so many games when you consider they first played all the way back in 1915. This week, Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth takes us to that very first game that looked nothing like games today. Max. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. You know, in 1915, they weren't the Utes yet. Each game roster only had 11 players. They played offense and defense in their leather pads and helmets. There were not roads that you could take from Salt Lake to Los Angeles, so the teams took the train. This picture shows the 1917 game between Utah and USC on Cummings Field. You can see the top of the old-fashioned bleachers to the right. Their coach, Nelson Norgren, had been a player for Chicago. Sports writers often called them the Crimson, and the sports journalism was a different language in 1915 when they played the first time on November 21st. They write USC figures in vain while Utah cops the bacon. In a game replete with sensational work from beginning to end, Utah won a glorious victory. The final score that year, 20 to 13. The Salt Lake Telegram rubbing the defeat in Trojan captain Len Livernash's downbeat face. In 1916, it was an October game in Los Angeles. The Salt Lake Herald Republican reporting Utah's grittists were in perfect condition when their train left Salt Lake. It had aboard 19 university football warriors and coach Nelson H. Norgren. In Los Angeles, they will be fed on some of California's best victuals. Utah won game two, the Tribune reporting, the Mountaineers trounce the coasters. More unofficial nicknames. In 1917, it was back to the U. The Salt Lake Tribune reporting the expected lineups. For Utah, the heaviest player was 180 pounds. They averaged 161. The papers called the odds makers dopesters, and they predicted a close game. But it wasn't close at all, thanks to the guy on the right here, quarterback Frank the Rabbit Mallet. In more colorful prose in the Tribune, the Californians play you boys off their feet, and Little Rabbit Mallet, by a very very peculiar and very scientific manipulation of 140 pounds of legs and thinking apparatus, he defeated Utah. 1917 score, USC 51, Utah 0. Legs and thinking apparatus. It's wild. Anyway, Utah traveled with 19 players back then, 11 of them taking the field. Well, this century, they travel with as many as 70. The average weight back then, I mentioned 161 on the team. This year, their full roster of 120 players, it includes two players at that weight or lower. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, the game and the players have changed. Oh, my, they? <laughs> how things have changed. We will have so much more on tomorrow's big game ahead in Fox 13 Sports. And then join us tomorrow at 4.30 for a special countdown to kick off. We'll bring you live reports from Las Vegas, plus more on how the Utes and their fans are getting ready for the big Boy, game. Boy, are we looking forward to this. Then stick around for the Fox pregame show, which will air in place of Fox 13 News Live at 5 tomorrow. The kickoff is at 6 right here on Fox 13.